Burdens food, clothing, shelter, and employment. The Aquiba Fet headline can produce all of these and lots more. Although it's often believed that crops like tomato, cucumber, onions can be only cultivated in the northern part of Nigeria. This assertion has been proven otherwise by a technocrat and an initiation of Acquire Bomb Employment Enterprise Scheme, Eda Oford Ebong. Well, today on May edition of Moment with Farmers, we will look at tomato cultivation. Tomato is one of the agricultural crops that can swiftly turn around the state economy if embraced by all. Tomato farming is known to make huge profits in the market. Meet Eda Ebong, who did not only climb the corporate ladder in a multinational oil company, but also finding success in the fighter and productive land of rural local government area. The moment with farmer crew embark on an special visit to a seven hectare tomato farm. Come along with me as we we'll have a tour around the farm. Tomatoes. Scientifically named Solanum lycopasica are one of the most popular fresh market vegetables. Tomatoes are intensely nutritious plant food. They are different in types and sizes and they can be prepared in different ways. They include cherry tomatoes, stewed tomatoes, raw tomatoes, soups, juices and purees. The moments with farmers crew of Planet 101 FM, Ujo, led by Tony Afia, the CEO of the radio station, visited a 7 hectares tomato farm owned by the initiator of the Aquaibom Employment Enterprise Scheme, Elder Ufort Ebong. The senior special advisor to the governor on technical matters and due process welcomed us and took us around the huge farmland where we were shown the various portions of the farm and how the plant is being grown from nursery before being transplanted to the field. And what you have just seen is what is called batch cultivation. So that anytime you come to this farm, you must have produce. When we start harvesting, there will never be a time like this. The government thing it has died, no? Mm. This one will never die. It's going to be a continuous process year in the out. Is this owned by government? I said it's the pilot phase okay. of what the governor wants to see, okay. whether we can grow tomatoes in commercial quantity. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Now, I said we lost 108,000 seedlings there. So those seedlings that are bearing fruit and the one up there that are still struggling to survive mm -hmm. are of the same age. They are of the same age. They were lost the same day. But why are some bearing fruit and some are now standing up and some are still there? Yeah. It's because of what we call batch cultivation. So when you transplant, you, what you've done is to create space for them to feed well. Yes. While the other ones are struggling with the masses to feed. Mm -hmm. So they can grow at the same rate while these ones have enough, thing, uh, enough food. Nutrients. Uh, nutrients and they feed and grow and then flower and yield fruit. So anytime you transplant, <laughs> transplant those ones and put, it, it, there's a time lag. So that time lag allows you to harvest this, harvest the next one, harvest and so on. By the time you come and start here again, you see we are now taking this down. So this is the next group. And then at the end, we now corner and start coming back to here. Okay. By the time we reach there, we are now cultivating this again. And by the time we harvest up today, we are these ones are ready again. So all year round you have that. So let me see, the beds are there just to prepare them for cultivation. Mm. Because when we are nursing, I can, before we go, I'll show you the 10 tins of the seedlings that we are going to nurse more than. Okay, where do you get those from? 120. Eh? The, the seedlings, right? They are sold here okay. by some Cameroonian. Okay. The origin of all these things is from that young man called Langwa. Okay, well, I remember that. Yeah, Langwa. Mm. Langwa had this. Is he still here? He's still here, doing great. Okay. So, what happened was Langwa was selling uh, tomatoes from Cameroon down here. You know, there are three sources of uh, uh, tomatoes to apply them one from the water around the side mm -hmm. Cameroon, one from the north, and one from Botakod even. But I could get from Kano and then they put it in Akwaibo, so three sources. Yeah. So Langwa came in, but they realized because 
the Cameroonians have been supplying France with um, vegetables Sydney. over the years. No, vegetables over the years. Mm -hmm. they, so France does not have that uh, regular life. So they farm in Cameroon. And their soil is organic. Organic ash. Uh, organic ash. So they now, Langwa coming here, he is married to a I mean, woman. And so he realized that so our, his our, our, uh, this thing is so arable, mm. soil, mm. that he now told his brother, who was a big manager at Technics and the people that produced this seed for uh, tropical climate uh, areas in France or for Cameroon, that these people's soil is better than what we have in Cameroon. So they shipped a whole lot of seedlings down here. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the guy couldn't buy land. So the seedlings were about to expire when I got to know about it. I said, sorry, we are going to do this. So we'll jump into anywhere. If I've seen your land, that I would have taken. Okay. When you come, there's no way you beat me or take me to court. Definitely. I, I said, will. I want I to plant tomatoes. You say it won't grow. I say it will grow. That in four months, this is how much money I will give you based on the acreage. And so that challenge and the greed of the little money enable us to show five books. When I checked you out, they said you pay 1.5 million 1. every four. 1.4 million every four. four. One hectare. Uh -huh. Every four. Every four months. Months. You know, that. just one phone that. call that you, know, you I, did I that. checked you out all no, through I did last that. night. I did that. I did that. In 2014, 20, or 2016, 2017. Okay. To show that you have one hectare, if you plant cassava, you can't make that kind of money. But that shouldn't stop our people from planting cassava. Mm. Eh? But that's what I did to show. And now, we are into the real business, agreed business. So you see, so they are coming here in the next two, because when we not, it will take us three weeks for them to be mature enough for us to transplant. Mm -hmm. So in three weeks time, we must have done this. By that, at least that helps on employment. See, we have, we have more than 57 persons from this community. That's why I want you to come to my village. 57. And they are happy. Some resign from other jobs too. Yes. Yeah, and they are yes. happy. You can talk to them. They are here. So there's nothing. You have to talk to them. No, you have to talk to people. Okay. So these ones were just transplanted four days ago. They are the same age with anyone that you see on this one. What is this? Tomatoes. The same tomatoes. Also. Wow. But they look like this. They look like they've not been fed well. No, they are feeding well. They just come out of shock okay. from the nursery. Okay. Now they are now going to fend for themselves. If you come here by next week, they are like this. Okay. And tall. Hmm? All of them will always look like this when you move them from here, yes, from their nursery. Eh? And before you know it, they are taking shape. Now, please, there is um, that yeah. thing there. Uh, the towel, can yeah. we, can we, we look at the towel there? Uh, this one. This is because you don't leave this kind of, when you are talking about a great business, you don't leave anything to chance. Okay. Yes, granted, we have adequate rainfall throughout the year. But what if there's a little bit like we had in, from 1st of August, the ending of August, no rain. Mm. So these things will all die. So you need to have water. And then we have installed a 5,000 liter capacity tank. And then to spray this kind of thing with water is not like with a water can. You need what is called a rain gun, which we have yes. to provide kind of the rain, okay. artificial rain. We will finish this water in three minutes. So we needed to construct a 300,000 liter or reservoir for water. So that if we are faced with drought, we need that, we need that rain gun, we are connected in big pipes, we put them up and then we spare that. We don't need to charge. But the beauty is that people spend so much money to construct reservoirs to put fish. And so we are going to put 10,000 fish here. What about the towel? Eh? The towel, I see. Uh, 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 this thing, we just uh, need to do them the first time. Okay. So I'm going to know there are a lot of them by the golf course. If you see them, bring them here for conservation. Don't destroy. So I put 10,000 fish here in this thing, and they, their water has a lot of ammonia. When I pump them here, it's even providing manure. 
This is purely organic, very little chemical, apart from insecticide that kill those things. Okay. But in terms of nutrients, it's purely organic. Okay. So you don't use fertilizers? No. Now, so let's go. So you can see. And we adopted a staking method that is quite different from the one that people tie like this. This one boils them in, so they stay. Hmm? You can see they are fruiting very well. This what is one, the colored stuff? No, we spray them with the insecticide. Okay. Because okay. insects will come to you, start okay. laying uh, eggs into the fruit. Oh, okay. We okay. have to spray them. So each of these plants eh, will branch out. See, branches. Like this one has branched here. And each should be about 30 fruit. So you can imagine if it branches three places, 90. Okay, so but when you harvest it, what is your plan? Are you how are you how are you disposing? How are you selling? Now it? the plan is not to sell a basket. Okay. Or by, by, by custard bucket to mm -hmm. people. Yes. We want big off takers to come. Like we've invited all the vegetable sellers in a Bible state to come okay. with the asset trade. They will make their own demand of what they will take. Mm -hmm. The man that brings in tomatoes from the north. The other man is coming here. So if he brings the two trucks and he can get two trucks, he will just get them here and sell to a Bible market in a cheaper rate. But I heard Dangote is building a, a processing a canned tomato factory somewhere in the north. No, a processing plant. No, a canned tomato. Yeah. No, I'm correct. Yeah. It's canned tomato, not a processing plant. Because the smallest tomato processing plant takes seven tons per hour. Okay. So we are going to do it for uh, uh, for for for, four, uh, for seven hours. Eh? How many tons? Forty nine tons. Mm. <laughs> you know what that means? Okay. Oh so God. That so that's why Nigeria is still importing pests okay. because we don't have enough cultivation of tomatoes everywhere mm. to fit the local market. Not to talk of processing. So you can bring in the pests and then cultivate and and then a uh, can. Mm. That's why it's a canning plant. Wow. So you see, now after some, uh, after here, you won't see the fruits again. Because eh? this was planted at a different place. Yes, okay. so, and these ones don't even flower, you see. So this is what we did consciously, the same age that we have made um, them to fruit different. With the huge rain, I'm surprised that they've not knocked down the, uh, the, the riches. No, because you took, if you look at the climbing of the day, Look at it. So you have to cut across red on mm -hmm. the You can run from there to there. If we had made the ridges like this, mm -hmm. all of them would have been. So we took on a made see all these things. It takes a lot of engineering to also. But, but the, was this a manual labor? Do you have the machine? Manual the, the, labor. These young people. So why don't this. you get those equipment, farming equipment? And when we go for the next phase, this is okay. a pilot. Okay. We okay. will put all those things down. So that they produce, uh, they provide much for. quicker. Mm. Definitely, you need. Uh, you cannot even be here alone. No. Definitely, you need to come to my place. No, we will be there. Mm. Big, big time. Mm -hmm. So you see the young people. They are spraying insecticides. You see the color now. You mm. can see. And yeah. uh, that thing you were asking. They are spraying these are insecticides to prevent insects from coming to lay eggs into uh, in the And it doesn't fruit. affect the, the, um, the fruit? No, it doesn't. And it doesn't it affect it. human beings. Okay. Because this is, before they start uh, ripening, nobody sprays again. Maybe about the month to harvest, we don't touch again. Eh? Okay. That time the effect of the insecticide has gone. Now, because of the nature of this place, we couldn't make beds. And so we maximize the value of the land by planting watermelon. Oh, this uh, watermelon. These are all watermelon. And because watermelon are cover crop, by the time you come here in two weeks, you would see mm. this place I'm standing. Yeah. Because they will all cover here. And watermelon. Are there mm. different species of uh, watermelon? No. One. One time. Because sometimes when I buy them, then they cut the very reddish. Then sometimes you okay, buy okay. very white. Those are variations. Yeah. Okay. These are uh, only the one very red and very sweet. It's not good for diabetic patients. Okay. I'm not a doctor, but because it's too sweet. But they say the, the, the... Okay, maybe the green, the greenish part of it. 
That when it's dry, we used to drink. It's, power. Power, it's a yeah. family of watermelon. Uh, sorry, uh, cucumber. Yes. There's another species in the same family that women use as sponge when it's dry. Yes. They are all in the family of uh, uh, cucumber. cucumber. So that is why we said cucumber can grow here. Watermelon, we were importing from the north, whereas we were planting it pan, you could, mm -hmm. and this. Yes. They were the, the same. same family. So now, if I come here in the heart of Uran land, to see some onion was that, Did you plant that or is just No, there? they grew on their own. And so we decided that we this soil is this good. Is Okana here. This Okana Okana. is a strong tree in Orano. That's why we've not touched them. Oh, don't no, touch I respect them. tradition. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. We could have cut them down. So you now see that if these things can grow here naturally in the wild, it means onion can grow. So we now decided wow. to plant onion. Come. So the whole of this, what you are seeing. Onion it's onion. Oh, Hi, they have not even removed the other one. I oh. think it's due. Okay. Those ones covered. Mm? They are all onions. Mm? Come, let me show you. Brought it. <laughs> you people will laugh, but what you see in the next one month you won't believe because this is how it is. You see this thing? These are all onions germinating. Hmm? Wait, wait. Let me go to my brother. Mm. Please perceive. What is this? Yeah, that's all. Right. Okay. Lady, please perceive. <laughs> Observe social okay. distance. Okay. You know what it is? Mm -hmm. I've just picked grass, a strand of grass, and it's. Uh, you know. Please, I want people. Let me not kill them. What is it? Is that on you? Yeah. You. No, just for corona. But did you see no. the thing I picked that is smelling on you? And that, that kills coronavirus, isn't it? No, let's go. <laughs> now, let me show you what is happening. Sorry, I didn't say that to yourself. <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. Hey, let me not kill the animal. Because what you've just seen, see them there. Okay, okay. this one looks good, but they are all the same. Hmm? See them? Hmm? Okay, they so are you've gotten like the... The birds, uh, the, you see, the what you are seeing, onions mm. take about six months, normal tomatoes. Okay. They will struggle like this, but they are all there. Mm. Mm. In the next three weeks, these things will be strands of grasses. So imagine grasses all over this place that we planted, and then all of them will form like this. Does so it need water? Do you have to keep watering? So you have onions because after this, you see, they are too close. If you want to do spring onions, they are human use for salad. Fried rice. You can allow them this. But I don't want, I want them like this. So that each grass should have a bulb. And you can count the number of bulbs in this place. To plant grass on this. Where is the picture of an uh, onion plant? So that you see what I'm doing. Um, an onion bed looks like this, the normal one. Okay, please see what an onion bed looks like. Have you seen? Mm, it's dark. Green. No, okay, sorry, okay. it's dark. Mm. Have you seen? Yes. See? Yes. Okay, it's green. Mm. Like this. So, what happens is we are going to now do what is called thinning when they are up to here. We now remove and put one to about four to six inches like this. All through. All these things. So this can even take about three of these. To oh, 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 let me ask you, did you have to take some courses on this? After? No, you read. All that oh, knowledge oh, is okay, on the okay, internet. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> you see, they are all here. So you give them time. They look sparse, but they are not. 
It was to transplant them, about six or five on this. The whole place, we wouldn't even have space. So we are even panicking because of the germination rate. We didn't expect this. You think you would have enough space? And we okay, you have to cover see, them. These ones have started coming out. See, mm -hmm. see them there. So cover them. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't you cover this one? No, They've we will cover the them oh, okay. for sun. See okay. them, they are all there. So okay. that they need sun for photosynthesis. These ones are done. The next thing is panic. So we left about five beds there in case these species cannot take because you see the pregnant species in between. But from what we've seen over uh, the north for this piece of land, it could have gone up to that palm tree. Instead, what I will do is cut them and do them and use them as spring onions. Okay. okay, okay. But what about preservation? Of spring onion. Okay, maybe the, it would just be mm. disposed of it. That is post harvest losses is the bane of every farmer. Mm. Okay. That's why already I've made a fort and then I'm happy with Planet FM to come with marketers too. Because without marketers, we've not done anything. You produce yeah. and then they are all wasted and that's the end. Okay, get on him, Jusen. I am it back, get on him last. I said, yeah. This one was planted last. Yes. Not the same age with this. Yes, sir. It's a minute, KJ. Okay, the last one. So let's go. So as you can stand in the mouth. They are taking it up to here. See? These are the large ones. The same age. See how tiny they are. Mm. But they are not there. By the time you come back next week, these ones are like that. During the course of our tour, we met with the farm manager, Mr. Idongasit Eshed, who tell us more about the processes and various vegetables on the farmland. Tomatoes, cultivated tomatoes. And um, <clears throat> before that, people have been saying that tomatoes don't do well in Aquaibo. But thank God, you know, you media guys, you do investigative journalism, you are here, you've seen things for yourself that we've cultivated tomatoes and they are doing well. So the message I have to send to other people, to governments and uh, private individuals, now that COVID has shut down hotel business, I think Agric is the next oil, the next uh, cash cow. So <clears throat> I would advise both the individuals to go into Agric. If we produce more, we can also think of uh, maybe uh, pest uh, production. Of processing, do processing into pest. Look at that two run. It's a seven hectares uh, farm. Okay, my size. Yo, I think it's a two community, Fayo and Yako. Uh, uh, no, there's no challenge. We are very okay. We have about over fifty and some more administrative staff. I belong to the administrative, though most times I'm always on the field. Life cycle, four months by November, we should be harvesting. As you can see, the fruit is coming very big. It's a sophisticated farm. And we have big, uh, sophisticated machines, or tools, as you may call it. We have a rain gun. Four of them has the capacity of two of them can water a hectare. No hectare is bigger than football field. In fact, that's why we have that big reservoir. I saw you guys when you were going down there. That's about 300,000 liters. To compare, because that was to be a, a huge, um, uh, what do you call it, empowerment program. You see, one thing is that if you design an empowerment program, you should have a way of retiring your people. You understand? Mm. The federal government they did well, got some people paid 30,000. Now most of them have been disengaged. Where are they going to? So then there were teachers, they cannot build their own schools. So, but here, <clears throat> and the bad thing about that was that there was no way you can monitor it. So someone can maybe be stay in Lagos and be collecting money, say, oh, I'm doing my empower at uh, maybe Fairyong. Yeah, right. But this one, you come to the site, you walk, and then you end. 
So there's no way you come and work and then you're not learning. So you are not just earning, you are learning. So we are looking at maybe in the next, maybe by next year, we should have more than five or more than 50 people establishing their own farms. Like what we have in Kukumba production. Before now, people used to go to that river area to buy cucumber. But when Akis came in, he started producing cucumber. A lot of people mm. have learned from us. Learned so you can say Akis is an entrepreneurial, agro entrepreneurial center, development center. Because we're able to train people to be empowered. We're able to train people to earn. After taking us round the farm, the moment with Farmer's Crew met with Elder Ufot Abong himself and asked him some questions about the farm, Akis, and the involvement of the state government on this project. I'm a technocrat. I worked with Shell for 25 years. Yeah, when I retired as a very senior manager. And I like to create things. It's not just agriculture. Anything you give me to do, or I've set my mind to do, I will do it. I'm driven by achievement, not by ego or short-term financial benefits. So this is a veritable way that you can get young people to make money, create wealth for themselves quickly. So I have to also show them at my old age. Now any of these workers can go, they can negotiate to get land even without buying. They plant and make money and feed themselves instead of going from the whole houses, uh, from one house to the other to bake for money. Well, we are doing a pilot phase of, uh, to show quite a people that you can grow tomatoes in commercial quantity. And from what we've seen so far, we are halfway there. But this first phase is showing us that we are getting there. That this take 33 years now, we've wasted. But we threw down our government vision and that and push. We are now trying to change the mindset and let people start going to this commercial cultivation of a, a common vegetables that either to be bought from other states, things like tomatoes, onions, cabbage, and the rest of them, 22 common vegetables that we hear that, including pepper. You know that we import pepper from other states? Of course we do. If you plant pepper here, in this whole thing, you know how much? You can feed the entire people, year in, year out. Okay. So okay. young people have now taken up that, they are happy doing it and they, I would want them to go on their own or consult for people that have land and then do it so that this state can be self-sufficient in food as the governor and, uh, directed and then maybe export the excess. Currently we are looking at about uh, four hectares and then we have opportunity to even get more like up to seven hectares. So mm -hmm. I think uh, we are planting in phases. Okay. So what we are seeing now is about three. So we are still going. Call it a tomato farm, okay. but you've seen other crops like yes, uh, yes, watermelon, onion, 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 and then pepper. You know, those are just our sites eh, okay. that we are just putting it to fill spaces that are not good enough for tomatoes. All those ones that we are doing to, as uh, uh, stop gaps to fill some places, okay. they are actually there is a proof of concept. If they work. Then we'll take them and get hectares, ten, seven, and plant them. So okay. we are doing it and watching. We are also learning on what to do, plant them. Farmer lot is the, you see, I'm uh, not a farmer. Okay. And so they are the consulting firm that are doing this. But I'm here to see what they are doing. He is from Farmer lot. So we had to bring them in. Okay, it's a keys pilot tomato farm. But the consultants are permanent. Well, you see, that is the problem with uh, people in government. I don't know why people go into that, to that length. The governor himself, in several of his broadcasts, I think maybe one or two, he has never failed to mention a case. He said Akis is going to plant 100 hectares of tomatoes. If the governor says Akis, who else? So you, you believe in social media than the governor. The problem is that people 
misunderstood Akis for the cottage industries alone. Akis means Aquaibum Enterprise and Employment Scheme. And the vision was to get the young people off the streets and into work by whatever means, eh? genuine means. Okay. And so Akis embarked on the provision of common facilities for artisans where people like tailors don't need to go to a bar to do common embroidery. They had all those machines here in New York and he got it and he kept it. And then they finished with those that don't want to, those artisans. Okay. There are people that wanted to create businesses. Yeah. We assisted and 128 small businesses, SMEs were formed, although the rest fell by the wayside. So we had about 68 remaining. All these things, the cash laws that you are hearing today, the root hubs that you are hearing today, are all product of our keys. They survived because they understood that in our keys we are not going to share money. You earn while you learn. And it's not government that will provide your staff salary. The rest thought that every month they are in civil service. Every month government will come and pay them. And they fell by the wayside. Those that saw it as an opportunity to grow. And we bring people in, experts to groom them, but not sharing money. And they're now on their own, making money and employing other people. That was another. And then I kids went into cottage industries, okay. where we did pencil, toothpick, and plastic. And that one, again, was to two prong. In China, cottage industry is the bedrock of industrialization. They provide the feedstock for bigger industries. And also to also get our people to start having this experience of working in a corporate organization. Okay. We had people going from there, from the pencil to work in the uh, uh, syringe factory and the metering plant. And then we knew that we are going to groom people that will work in this bigger, like the car plants, the seaport, when they come, because they have getting experience. When they say, five years working experience as a, a procurement officer or as a production manager, you've left school since how many years ago, you've never worked apart from being a, a AC or PA. <laughs> it cannot appear. So we got those young people to be working in these things. But, you know, government is one team. So government now to reorganize certain things said, that particular aspect of our case, the cottage industries, should go under the Ministry of Industries, Trade and... and so, so it went. The people now said, oh, they have taken our case. No, no. Our case was still doing it. Then our case went into a great. We were not competing with the ministry. We were trying to see how we can get young people to go into the farm, quickly cultivate something in less than four months, you get money out. Not palm oil, not rubber, not cocoa, not cassava. So we stumbled on the things like common vegetables, like what you just see. So in four months, these young people can plant and make money. It was to show people how to create wealth for themselves and so we take them off the streets and into work. No. This is so much alive okay. in so many aspects. But let people not confuse our kids with their kids' industrial park that we created and we made pencil, toothpick, and, and uh, plastics. Okay, so no! Those are cottage industries that have now been rightly moved into the Ministry of Industries where they belong. They said the fish starts rotting from the head. Have you heard that? So if the head is not rotting, the fish will not rot. So the head, who is the governor, has set the direction that we should go into this kind of things. That is why you, I said, I on my own, I went and I'm really more than 5,000 goods, native goods of Kubusame goods. So he has given us the opportunity, and luckily the Nigerian constitution permit public servants to go into agri-business. Agri so it's not, there's no conflict of interest. And so every government appointee, if we double into this, we will be self-sufficient and in fact exporting. Because that is the direction set from the very head. So it has done so great. In 33 years, we never had this kind of awareness. Very well. Tony Affair of Planet FM has always been supportive or supportive of anything good. He's not given to psycho fancy. Hmm? He calls the spade a spade. Black is black, he told him. And white is white, he told him. Tony comes from Ora. 
And he said, friend, so when I mentioned to him what I'm doing, he said he's coming to see. So that nobody will go on the air and start talking. And now he's seen, he's convinced that we, the government is heading in the right direction. The direction that has never been done in the past 83 years. The governor Uri Emanuel has said that direction. You yourself, you should be shocked that you can have this amount of tomatoes on a quiet bomb spot. Tony will be a good partner to sell government too. From an independent point of, uh, you know, uh, not a psychophant, not somebody in government, somebody that stands his ground. So if he can come here to say that Bongudu Emmanuel is doing great in this kind of thing, so I think uh, something that I should not take lightly. This is what we have always wanted in uh, Akwaibo. And uh, we just needed that visionary leader that would bring us this kind of uh, vision and encourage people to invest in agriculture because uh, if you can't feed yourself, nobody else is going to be able to feed you. You have to be, you have to be able to produce to feed. We can't depend on uh, outside crops. So I'm very impressed because this is Uran. And Uran have this massive land that there's nothing that cannot happen here. So I'm very happy that we've done this. And it was just a phone call away from Ufodebo, my friend, that we have to come and see this. And we expect that we're going to have this partnership and continue to do things together to, to at least let the vision of His Excellency, Udom Emmanuel, what he has done. Because this is all about media. If you can do everything that you want to do, if you're not telling people, how would people know? So now that we've seen it, we'll make sure that everybody knows about what is happening. Tomato has a lot of health benefits. It has a lot of vitamins that are good for the body. That brings us to the end of today's edition on Moment with Farmers. I do hope you've enjoyed every bit of it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel where Planet FM will continue to revolve around you.